possibly. Yeah. Oh, I think it's carrying something. Wow, that is yeah, it's epic. <laughs> <laughs> so that looks like a mycid shrimp, an opossum shrimp. You can see the white um, brood pouch underneath its body, and it's carrying some organic particle, but I don't understand what that long trailing thing is. Oh. Taking a break. Oh, I, oh, 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 oh. I think that's yeah. part of it as well. I know, but I've certainly not heard of anything remotely like that before. I think it's a parasite. Um, the Tina 4, the comb jelly, is called Bathosiroe. Thanks, Mike Ford, for that. What is this? This is what you were looking for, right? Yes. Well, let's take it. It's a walking. Oh. oh, it's a hermit crab oh. with the Go colonial zoanthids on it. I was thinking this is some kind of bone with like bone eating worms on it. No, not not that exciting. It's got um, quite the load there. Still very exciting oh, yeah. though. It looks it's like actually a snail it's maybe it's not a hermit. Yeah. It's, a it's a gastropod, a live gastropod with two anemones on it. Rotate around to the other side. And I've not <laughs> seen that before. I'm touching uh, down, Roland, so this can be a little more difficult. I don't want to give you anything easy. Yeah, this is a lot to we'll for this hold, animal to we'll carry. Just here for now. I feel like he went overboard on his, uh, on his decor. Uh, <laughs> so that um, that fish we saw a little earlier with the uh, the elongated barbels is um, a physid hake, P H Y C I D. Pilot's clear. Thanks, Bob. Can rotate around. It's spot on. Uh, wow, amazing. Good image. How big was that? Can we just flick on the laser a second? Okay, yes. not that big. So it's about only about five, uh, five. I don't have a great POA. Across or something Mr. like video, that. Because it's so low to the Total. ground. I can try. Lasers are clear. Copy that. Let's go in partial. It's interesting that the anemones are pointing downward rather than upward. Um, I'm not sure what the advantage would be of scraping along the mud like that. And you can see the foot of the snail there sticking out that pinkish structure that it's using to sort of burrow through the sediment, plow through the sediment. Yeah, plow is a good yeah. word there because of the extra weight it's carrying especially. Back and away from it. Yeah, let's let it go video. I've come too far around. Oh, and there's a couple shrimp around. 